God has a lot of ways to call people to Him. And I think mine is one of them. So I was born in a Christian family, but my father died early. So my mother, she was the one taking care of me. It got to a time, though she was giving education concerning the Bible, whatever it is right before God, because of the, the friends and what society was showing to us when we were very young, we were not paying attention to God. We didn't take it serious. So my mother was not having enough money to take care of my studies. So she was supported by my uncles. So it got to a time they rejected me. They, they told me that they are not my parents, so they cannot pay my school fees or whatever I need to go to school. So they are not concerned about my future. So then I was in trouble because my mother doesn't have money. So what to do? So I started misbehaving, living anyhow. Then the situation became somehow, I can see God was the last person I, I ran to. If not, I would have lost my life because the kind of life I was living, it was not nice at all. So my mother keeps on advising me, encouraging me to also try Jesus because I tried everything. I tried everything, going to search for money, anyhow, going to farm and all those things, nothing. Then I said, okay, let me accept Jesus and see what he will bring to me. So in 2013, I accepted Jesus. But since I accepted Jesus, my life has changed totally. Even though the people who sat me away now are looking for me. So since they rejected me and also I accepted Jesus, they were trying to find out what, what is really the secret. Because they thought I was finished. They thought nothing else can, can work for me anymore because they were the support I was having. For them, everything has stopped for my life. I'm now going to be a drunkard. I'm going to be, I mean, living anyhow. But they realized that it was not like the way they were thinking. So they came to me and asked, what, what is really going on in my life? What, what, what is the secret? And I told them that it's Jesus because he's the only hope I have. So all these things happened when I accepted Jesus. So Jesus allowed them to suck me away because if I was having uncles who were taking good care of me, I don't think I would have thought of Jesus. But since they sat me, I realized that there is a God who really needs me and can change my life. And he has done it. My studies in, in Ghana, I have not started. Lack of money. So I'm um, teaching students in the house, doing classes. And also I have a private school where I teach as a French teacher. And I want to be a translator to help the church. If there was a, a translator here, but now I'll be speaking French. So that is what I think I can do as support to the work of God. Because when I look at where I'm from, where Jesus brought me, and when I look at mom sat me away, I think the only thing I can do is to do whatever possible for the work of God to move forward. So I'm thinking that I can get the money because I'm saving. So as soon as I get it, I will start my studies. I'm a church planter all the way from Sampa. We are working there and then sending the gospel to Jula community, Muslim. Especially. So, in first place, Muslim people, in their mind, they have nothing to do with Jesus. Muslim, because of what they give to them when they were young, till they grew up, they are very difficult. For them to accept that Jesus is Lord is not easy at all. Sometimes you can go 
the chance they will give to you for you to talk to them is difficult because at the end of your message you are going to ask them to accept Jesus so they know it already they know it already so sometimes they suck you away when you come you greet them and as, as soon as you present yourself as if you have come to talk to them about God you said they have no time for you they, they, they have nothing to do with Jesus so you should go away I think that is the main challenge we have shared a lot and it is helping seriously because when you are going out without anything when you greet them to respond it is difficult as soon as you have a booklet with you it attracts their attention and then they give you a chance some of them even allow us to sit down with them read for them because they say they can't read you will read and explain everything and that is a great opportunity for us to talk to them and we have also Jesus movie and it is made in Jula language so people really enjoy that because they can hear their language coming from them anytime that we project the movie we use the opportunity to also preach to them so the trust we have gotten and we are sharing it as well and then well, sometimes there are some people they don't know anything about Jesus and you look at some, some somebody's life and once you start preaching because once we preach we have been going to do follow up so we pray to you and later we come and find out how do you receive the message and how are you living yeah i can see a lot of people have changed their life because of the preaching and some of them are even going to church with us jula people they are coming Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 is not everybody who says lord lord who enter the kingdom of my father but the only one who does the will of god so that is my my favorite i always want to do the will of god because i don't have spirit if i can say it on that way because no support from nowhere it's only god who has been taking care of me so i always want to do what god wants me to do what is expecting me that's the only thing i want to do